Prince Harry's decision to sue the UK government makes him look like a child, a reputation expert has claimed. The Duke of Sussex, 37, is involved in a legal bid to be allowed to pay for his own police protection when in the UK. Harry claims he has been fighting since January 2020 to get his Metropolitan Police protection reinstated while on British soil, and has offered to foot the bill himself. He lost taxpayer-funded police security when he and his wife Meghan Markle, 40, stepped back from royal duties in 2020. Currently, the couple pays for private security in the U.S., where they now live with their two children, Archie, 2, and baby Lilibet. Harry has said he is unable to bring Meghan and his children back to Britain because it is too dangerous without police protection. He has filed a claim for a judicial review against the Home Office decision not to allow him to personally pay for the security while in the UK. Now a reputation expert claims the actions make the prince look like a child and branded him whiny for his latest move. Eric Schiffer, chairman of Reputation Management Consultants, claimed Harry's latest legal bid makes him appear outrageously out of touch. He told Newsweek, Harry has forgotten that he cut and run to America and decided to cash out the crown. With that comes a loss of title and accoutrements. He's been banking millions on the back of the royal aura. It's painfully deluded to think that he should somehow be able to benefit from his own decision to turn his back on Britain and his responsibilities. I think it sends a message that he is out of control and outrageously out of touch. He chose to leave. He chose to cut and run and capitalize on the crown. Mr. Schiffer added, there are responsibilities that flow from that in which to sue is a choice he can make but it makes him look like a child and a whiny one at that. A legal representative for Harry said he wants to bring his son Archie and seven-month-old baby daughter Lilibet to visit from the U.S., but fears they will be unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous. The Duke wants to fund the security himself, rather than ask taxpayers to foot the bill after he stepped down as a senior member of the royal family. Harry is now arguing his private protection team in the U.S. does not have access to U.K. intelligence information which is needed to keep his wife and children safe. The Duke's legal representative said in a statement, the UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. With a lack of police protection comes too great a personal risk. The representative added, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. Harry briefly returned from the U.S. last July for the unveiling of a statue of his late mother Princess Diana. The day before, he met seriously ill children and young people at a well-child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens, West London. However, it is understood the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left. Harry has shared his concerns in the past about his family's safety. Diana died in a car crash after she was chased by the paparazzi in Paris in 1997. The legal representative added, Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family.